Hi, let's see how we can create CSS classes and how we can add them to elements. So we use CSS tab to create new rules. So we here we have style sheets and we have new CSS and I, we click on add rule and type the selector of the rule we want to create. So for example, if we want to make a class, uh, we should put a dot in front of it. And let's write blue and create. And we set the background color at, uh, to blue. Okay, and here is our class. So to apply this class to a selected element, we just select the element and click on the plus sign in front of it, in front of the rule. Or if we want to remove the class, then just click on the minus sign and it gets removed. This is just one way to assign classes. We can also do it directly from properties panel. Here we have add class uh, button. And here we just write the name of the class and it gets added to the selected element. To, to get it off, we just click on this X on the class name and it's gone. Also, we have a shortcut uh, that takes us to the CSS list. And again, here we can use plus or minus to assign and remove the class. Okay, now let's select another column go to CSS tab and say add rule orange and here we use create and assign shortcut so this will take us directly to the to editing of the class properties and at the same time it will assign the class to the selected element so this saves us a couple of clicks so let's find the orange for this class looks nice and here you, you notice that all the changes are visible and the reason for that is that this class is already assigned um, to the selected element so here we have and also when we select an element let's put blue we see in CSS list of rules that those rules that apply to the selected element are highlighted. So now let's make an interesting experiment. Let's select the third column and apply both classes to it. So according to CSS specification the, the rule which comes the, the latest will override styles of the rules that come before. So if we swap the order of these two elements, of these two rules, uh, we can notice that also the color, uh, like the class which overrides the other one, uh, changes. So in this way, Pyro is quite nice also to learn about HTML, about CSS, because it is very easy to experiment and also we, we always can work directly with the code. So if I click on the edit rule source, I can edit the rule CSS code directly and also see all the changes applied in real time. Um, well, another thing I want to show you that sometimes rules can be quite complex. So they're not just classes. They, they, they are like any CSS selectors. Um, and we can use any valid CSS selectors. So let's make a rule which will set the color of heading 3 in orange class in elements with uh, class orange. So font, let's make it white. Um, oh, let's 
let's change it and also include blue here it is um, and you will notice that this rule doesn't have minus or plus sign in front because it's not a class as such but still if we right click it we get the choice to use any of the classes which are mentioned in this rule um, so this, this makes it easy to, to apply rules to apply classes even with the help of rules which contain different like selectors you just click on orange and it gets applied and also I can remove the class and not only the ones which uh, take place in this selector but any class which is assigned to this element so this is kind of shortcut that can save us some clicks Okay, so much about adding classes. See you in the next tutorial.